how's everyone doing there today? This is Cult Flicks Fix 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's going to be a haul video. I did receive some stuff through the mail. I've had some of this for a while, but I haven't got around to um, to doing a video and showing this haul. So I decided to put it together and I had time today. So it's going to be a decent little stack of uh, new films I got to the collection. New uh, 4Ks and Blu-rays and DVDs. So um, everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this started. I'm going to start off first with uh, what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I got found this one behind you, this DVD. It says from the producer, The Gallows. I didn't, I didn't really care for that film, The Gallows, but the this one interested me on the plot. It did come with a slip cover. It's funny. It says The Conjuring Universe, but <laughs> I actually looked that up. It has nothing to do with The Conjuring, so I think it's just like to sell it. But yeah, it does the same art on there. But yeah, this film looks pretty interesting. I'll possibly review this for my 31 Days of Horror Tober, which I've been doing daily. So look out for the review on this film behind you. Next up, this is a non horror film, but it's one I had to pick up uh, from Kino Jason's Lyric. It has a great cast Alan Payne, Jada Pinkett, I cannot say that, Bokeem Woodbin, Tretch. Eddie Griffin and Forrest Whitaker. I had this uh, film on VHS, man, and it's never had. I don't think it's had a Blu-ray release. So Kino uh, recently released this. I had to pick it up. So it's, uh, it's like your urban hood tale mixed in with like a uh, erotic thriller in one. But it, it's a great film. I always I like this one, Jason's Lyric. Next up, I, I'm gonna get into Vinegar Syndrome. I'll start with the partner labels from. Uh, from September so uh, I got fair game I've always been after this film this is like an Australian revenge film look at that slip cover man just beautiful art this one I've heard good things about but never seen there's the alternate art all well, the back there I'm real uh, interested in checking this out I've been after it for a long time but couldn't find a, a copy finally got one fair game next up we got a non-horror uh, Married to the Mob with a young Michelle Pfeiffer. This is like a mob comedy, but it's, it looks uh, real entertaining. I think that's Dean Stockwell there. And uh, I like the art. It's awesome. And you got the alternate art with a young Michelle Pfeiffer as well. This one looked like a good time, like a mafia comedy kind of. Never seen it. There's the inside there. Pretty nice. Pretty awesome art as well. I like this art. But... Yeah, Dean Stockwell, rest in peace, isn't this? And it's got a booklet. Yeah, I like these kind of films. Never seen this one, though. Married to the Mob. This is a... I think this is a Fun City edition. Yeah, Fun City. I really like the stuff Fun City puts out. Married to the Mob. And we're going to get into the September package here. I got a Red Sun Rising, some Don the Dragon Wilson. I uh, always enjoyed some Don the Dragon Wilson. This is the VSA number 27, I believe. There's the, the same art it goes. But yeah, I'm a fan of these like B-movie kung fu flicks. I've always been into those. These are hard to put in. There we go. That's uh, Red Sun Rising. Next up, we got the Iceman Cometh. Never heard of this film. Pretty awesome art. Just got some alternate art as well, I think. Yeah. Looks like a Asian film there. Yeah, I know, I know nothing about this film. Can't wait to check it out. Looks cool. Slipcover. Next up, we got... Buried Alive, awesome art on that as well. That's one thing Vinegar Syndrome does, they never disappoint on their art. They put out some awesome additions. Movies, <laughs> it's another story. They could be hit or miss, but oh, this is based off of Ed Edgar Allan Poe adaption. It's Buried Alive. Interested in that, like my horror films. Next up we got Mutant Hunt. Awesome art on this, probably one of my favorite art. Slipcover arts. 
This looks cheesy and fun. I mean, not alternate art. I do remember seeing this, this art somewhere. It seems like a sci-fi mixed in with horror. Orion Company, nice. Can't wait to check that one out as well. Mutant Hunt. I just love that art right there. Next up, uh, pick this up as well. Amityville Horror. I just got the box set from Scream Factory, but this is a 4K. I needed to get this. I love this film. It's awesome. It has some embossed art there. Look at that. Get out. Awesome slip. Let's have the 4K. No uh, alternate art, man. That was a that was real uh, bizarre. There's a disc art. Yeah, Amityville Horror, man. I, I enjoyed that one. Original. Embossed lettering as well. Okay, next up we got... um, I picked up Scream 2 on 4K. I had to get this. I like that slip cover art. I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty good. Just the back. Um, I do have Scream and then the, the newest Scream that came out. I have both of those on 4K, so now we just need them to release um, Scream 3 and 4, get the collection on 4K. No alternate art, the back. There is a digital code, first come first serve there for Scream 2. Comes with the Blu-ray as well as the 4K Ultra HD. Yeah, these, this is a fun franchise Scream. There's Scream 2 on 4K. Next up on 4K also, and this was a no-brainer for me. Got the still book of Fright Night. Uh, it goes back and forth between my favorite vampire movie, between this one and The Lost Boys. They take turns getting that number one spot, but yeah, this slip cover, not slip cover, this still book is awesome. I really like that art. It really stands out, glossy. There's the back, back art. This movie is just an all-time classic. It's a 4K Ultra HD. There's a digital code as well. There you go. First come, first serve. We got the Blu-ray, the special features. This one's loaded with special features. I'll show you those. Look at that. Tons of special features on this. Can't wait to break into that. One of my favorite films all time next up another uh, 4k pickup i picked up army of darkness from scream factory i believe this completes my uh evil dead collection so i got the box set and the i got the reimagining or whatever the newer one was but i had to complete it there this is the one i was lacking army of darkness no alternate art on this as well this comes with the Theatrical cut, 4K Ultra HD, theatrical cut Blu-ray, Blu-ray director's cut, and it comes with a Blu-ray international cut and also a television cut. <clears throat> so you get a lot of cuts of the film in this, man. There's the back, special features. Yeah, this is a fun one. I've always enjoyed Army of Darkness. 4K. Next up, we're going to get into the Arrow. I picked up some Arrow editions. Uh, I picked up Take Back the Night. I really like this slipcover. It gives me that retro vibe for some reason. This is like a modern horror film. That intrigued me. It's the back. This is a uh, Region B. You would need a Region Free player for this one. Flipped it to the alternate art, which is plain but effective at the same time to me. We do get a disc, the... Uh, booklet let's skim through that you get a poster but i won't be going through the poster but i'll skim through the booklet real nice addition from arrow i know nothing about this film either let's take back the night next up another arrow uh addition here I got two witches. This sounds right up my alley. I love that slipcover art. Here's the back. This one is region A. And the alternate art is just as, as awesome. 
As you can see there, I like my witch movies, so I'm interested in this. Tons of special features as well. And get uh, the disc booklet with some awesome art as well. Get a poster. It's a loaded edition. Skim through this. Yeah, I can't wait to watch this. I'll probably review these during the 31 Days of Horrortober. So look out for it. Two Witches. Know nothing about this film. Just went off the trailer. Okay, that does it there for the single editions. Now we're going to get into some box sets. Of course, I had to pick this up. I'm a Halloween fanatic. I picked up the Scream Factory uh, 4K set here from 95 to 2002. It's a real, uh, it's not a, it's kind of a flimsy box, but I still like it for some reason. And then there's a Halloween Resurrection. The slip box, Buster Rhymes in 4K. <laughs> so there's the alternate art inside. You get some art as well. Blu ray, 4K Ultra HD. It's my favorite franchise. I know they get worse as they go on, but I'm still a fan. <laughs> so we got H2O 20 years later, slip box. And the alternate art. This one's a pretty solid film. It's not my favorite, but I still have fun with it. H2O. Uh, some disc art. 4K Ultra HD to Blu ray. And we get Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Really happy to have this to the collection. And my camera's moving. This comes with both cuts and you get your alternate art as well as the theatrical cut 4k ultra hd and the discs are moving here I hate when that happens you get the 4k ultra hd of the producer's cut blu-ray of theatrical cut blu-ray of producer's cut as well so you have the the 4k ultra hd on both both cuts on this that was my question. I didn't know because I heard that it was only on Blu-ray for the producer's cut, but no, nah, there, there's 4K Ultra HD on both cuts. That answers my question as well. It's the Halloween set from Scream Factory. Oh, these are sliding out. There you go. There's a the look at the spine. And last but not least, I picked this up from Severin, the House of Psychotic Women Rarities Collection. This is an awesome box set. I like the, the look of it, and then it opens up like the Vinegar Syndrome style too. Pretty good uh, detail there and graphic artwork there around it. And I'll go through the films here. You get a Identikit, and this is with Elizabeth Taylor, or this is one of her most uh, bizarre roles. And uh, you get I Like Bats, it's like a vampire flick in the 80s. You get Footprints, this is a uh, psychedelically haunting. I don't know what this year, what year it's from. It looks 70s, yeah, Italian film from the 70s. Footprints, you get the other side of underneath. Oh man, can't be showing that. <laughs> but this is, a, uh, I believe it looks 70s as well. But yeah, these films just look like rare and bizarre. But I had to get this set. I had it on my wish list and picked it up once it was available. So there is the House of Psychotic Women Rarities Collection from Severin. Those are my latest pickups, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit a like, subscribe, comment as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Everyone have a great week out there. This is called Flix Fix 24. Back with a video. Peace.